Hey guys, um, so in this video today, I'm going to show you how to make a salt and pepper um, holder. Much, it's very simple and easy. Um, a rustic type of look. Um, it looks similar to something like this. So I'll show you how I made one of these. So stay tuned, and I'll see you now. So this is what you'll be needing: is the base, the four legs. Two sides for the for the long piece, and two sides for the top sides. So as you can see, basically off cuts. These are ten mil or one centimeter um, off cuts that I had, and then also off cuts of pieces of um, the pallet. You see, it? it's broken. So these are the type of things that you that you can use. I mean for scraps that's what you use. The first things first you need to get the bottom piece that you need to put up. So what I've done is I've just put a salt shaker or whatever you want to call these things. Um, and basically what you want to do is keep like at least one centimeter from the sides so then you can mark it out more or less mine will be more or less about i think was it five and a half centimeters yes five and a half centimeters and i measured it out i've measured already out previously so this is basically what i'm gonna be taking out so Obviously, you need to put your two down to get your the size that you would like to get at the end. And uh, basically, I'm gonna get mine at like twelve and a half centimeters. So measure that out. And there's your the bottom piece that you're going to cut out you're going to use so the next step that you want to do is basically cut out that piece on this piece of wood so take the measurements of this one and that is basically one centimeter and by what is it? 18 1 by 18 so measure it out 1 by 18 and you get that That's what you're going to cut out to get that in there. So, after you cut it out, it should look similar to this. I just sanded it down just to give it a nice top finish. So, now off to putting up the legs that goes up. So, I'll do that now. So, basically, I'm going to need four of these legs. And uh, my measurements that I'm going to use is 8 centimeters. So I'm going to cut four of these out. So got my four pieces that I said I'm going to cut down by 8 centimeters. And these are going to be the legs. So what you can do is put some glue, put it on, and uh, if you want to put a screw through or nail through, you can do that. I'm going to assemble this, I'll be back. So the next part is getting the sides up, so basically what I want to do is measure out because I need to have the same measurement right around, so 
I'm going to use four centimeters. I'm going to use four centimeters this side and four centimeters this side. So that will be where it comes on. So as you can see, that's how it fits. But I want to sink these holes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark the sides. Uh, okay, don't be like me trying to do everything with one hand. Probably change your hand or something to get it. So I've got these marks. What I want to do is I just want to sand these in so it can actually come to about halfway in it. And that all do with small sides as well on the sides. So I will show you when I'm done. I just want to show you. See, I'm just turning them down on the sides. So, and then it fits in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue them, stick them on, and put a nail through. If I say about a nail, I'm talking about like a tiny one. Really tiny. It will just fit through. It's like a pin or whatever you want to call it. There. You can see you go. Final product, got my sides up. As you can see, everything is up. But you know what? I just want to show you. It fits so nicely in that I thought of why not put a divider in between them? Where look? Nicer. See? Okay, yeah, I will. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a divider in. That is basically nailing it right through, gluing it, nailing it. There you go. And voila! Bob's your uncle. Now, you can sand it down, make it neat, paint it. Whatever you feel like you want to do, if you want to even write the salt and pepper, it depends on you.